Hey folks, Marty Golden out of Fly Creek Kennels. You know, I was cruising the internet the other day and I saw somebody ask a question on it. What's the best way to get my dog to look up in the sky so they can see the birds better while we're shooting? And I think there's two ways to do this. One is, of course, to help train that behavior and have your dog looking up and throwing marks or bumpers in the air, which I'm going to show you in a drill just in a second. But the other is hunting, getting them out having them steady, having them sitting, having them watching the area that you're hunting, getting them in a position in a spot where they're visible to the fall area, and giving them an opportunity to figure it out. That light bulb moment is so cool when my dogs finally figure out and, and their eyes go from looking out at the horizon to looking up in the sky and actually seeing those birds flying. Because it's that moment that they get a better chance of watching them fall and obviously retrieving them. So, hopefully you like this video. And remember, like, subscribe, and share with your friends. All right, folks. So, we're out here in the training yard. Got my personal dog, Vita, with me. The number one tool that you can use to help train this idea is a canvas bumper or vinyl bumper. It doesn't really matter. Use a bumper and add a flag to your bumper okay you can buy these online i'll put a link down below where you can find them these nice you know these ones that you can buy are nice because they have an s hook and they've got a metal grommet so they hold up a long time uh, you can also make one you can go out and buy ribbon black and white ribbon and make it and tie it inside the hole of your bumper and use it that way um, i love it because it does actually make a pretty good throw rope okay and of course it adds that flutter which is going to get the dog to lock in on your bumper very much like a bird falling out of the sky okay so this is not a drill about marking in the distance okay this drill is basically designed to get your dog to look up into the sky and this is how we're going to do this we're not going to throw it very far but we are going to throw it very high beforehand you can use your own personal keyword in my world it's mark okay so i will draw the word out mark and then i will throw the bumper what we're doing over time is pavlov's theory we're conditioning a sound to an action and the dogs start to look out and look up as i had mentioned earlier in my intro the really the best way to make this transition from training drill to real life drill is to take your dogs hunting and before you're shooting and birds start coming in just to very casually tell your dog mark and what will start to happen is they'll look up and they'll catch birds moving and then eventually their light bulb will go off and they have that little aha moment where they say oh the birds come from there if all you're doing is competing in field trials and hunt tests and you're doing marks at a long distance, your dogs are going to have to look out toward the horizon to see those throws. So again, I play with the hunt tests and I don't mess around with field trials. I am primarily a gun dog trainer and I think this drill in itself is going to be extremely beneficial so when you guys go out and you tell your dog to mark that they start to look up. So here we go would also like to say that it is important to make sure your dog is steady during this drill because steadiness is going to allow them to sit still and watch the bumper. If your dog is a breaker, they're just going to take off as soon as you throw this. So prerequisite for this is make sure your dog is steady. Okay. So I'm just going to go with this and show you how I like to do it. First one's going to be fairly close, maybe about two yards away from the dog, maybe a yard, two yards, and I'm going to throw it really high. I'm going to cue her, mark, Vita, and just send her, okay? Bring her back to the place she took off from, here, hold, sit, drop, good girl, sit. Take your time, don't rush this move from side to side don't throw in the same spot every time but again nice and high sit Vita. that time i actually forgot to use my mark cue that's fine we'll add it to the next one here sit sit excellent drop good sit 
each time you do this, if your dog is successful at this, you can move a little bit further away from them, but continue to throw it just as high. I will say this, the further you move from the dog, the higher you should throw it so they have a chance to actually look up. Sit. Mark. Vita. Oh, there it is. Good girl. That's it. Just have fun with this, guys. This is a fun little drill. Here. Sit. Good. Drop. Sit. Always working on our fundamentals, making sure the dogs are behaving themselves. The better behave they are, the easier it is for them to learn. Sit. Again, I forgot my mark cue. Sit. I'm not going to send her on that one, even though she did really well. As a trainer, I'm going to try to do a little bit better by her and use my command. Mark. Vita. There it is. Good girl. That's it. Back to home plate. Come on, good girl. That's a good dog. Yeah. Here. If your dog is better at steadiness on a place command, sit. You can use your place board here. Drop. Sit. And do this a couple more times and then we're going to call it good. I think you guys get the idea. Sit. Nice and high. Vita. There it is. Good. Okay, okay, okay. Woo. All right, here. Good. Sit. Last one. Drop. Gonna move a little further out. Mark. Vita. Hey. So there you are guys, okay? Bumper with a flag. Pro tip of the day, make sure your dog is steady. Work on throwing it really high. If your dog has some desire to retrieve, they will hold, they will look up and they will want to focus on where this bird is going, where this bumper is going and then they'll watch it drop on the ground. Fetch, a oh, girl, here, good, sit. Thank you, Vita. So again, drop, once again guys, do me the favor. Please like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. The more subscriptions I get, the more motivation I have to do these videos for you guys. They're like doggy treats for a dog trainer. So go get your dog.